Sling TV is a live TV streaming service that has a good balance between pricing and content. In this Sling TV review, I'll go over everything you need to know before you sign up. Stay tuned. Alrighty everyone, thank you for tuning in. I am Matt and I am the host of Shall I Stream It? Today I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about Sling TV. So first, let's start out with the basics. Now, Sling TV is a live TV streaming service that gives you access to the same types of channels that you would get with a cable subscription. The difference is because it's over the internet, you don't need equipment, and you don't have any kind of long-term contract like you would with a cable service. Everything is month to month and you can cancel at any time. Sling TV's plans start out between $35 and $50 a month, which is cheaper than some of their competitors like Fubo TV and Hulu Plus Live TV. Now, usually for new customers, there's either some kind of free trial offer or a discount. For example, when I'm recording this video in October of 2022, there's a discount where new customers can get half off their first month. Although Sling TV is a little bit cheaper than some of their competitors like YouTube TV or Hulu Plus Live TV, it does have a smaller channel lineup and some more limited features. What sets it apart from some of the cheaper streaming services like Philo or Friendly TV is you do get more channels, especially sports and news channels. Now let's go through the plans available in a little more detail as well as the channel lineup. I will admit that their plans can seem a little bit confusing at first, so let's break it down and make things a little bit easier. Now Sling TV does offer a free plan this is similar to what you would find with the Roku channel or Pluto TV, something like that, where you have free live channels that are supported with advertising. These aren't the same channels that you would get with cable, but it does give you quite a bit to watch. Now, you cannot record shows with a DVR with the Sling free plan, so take note. Their next plan is called the Orange plan. The Orange plan is $35 a month. You get everything that you would get with the Sling free plan, as well as 31 paid channels, including the Disney Channel and ESPN that are exclusives to the Orange plan. You also get 50 hours of cloud DVR. The thing about the Orange plan is you can only stream on one device at a time though. I'll go ahead and display the channels available on the screen. I'm not going to list everyone, but if you wanna pause the screen and take note of the channels here, you can. Now you will see the channels that are distinctive to the Orange plan are going to be again the Disney Channel, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPN3, Freeform, as well as Motor Trend. Now, the third plan is their blue plan. This one is also $35 a month. Like the orange plan, you get access to all of the free channels, and you also get 41 paid channels. A lot of these overlap with the orange plan. The difference, of course, is that you don't get the Disney Channel or the ESPN channels, but you do get things like Bravo, Discovery, E, FX, Fox News, MSNBC, National Geographic, Sci-Fi, TLC, USA, and True TV. Not to mention, for sports fans, it includes the NFL Network and FS1. Now, one distinctive thing about the Blue Plan is that depending on the city you live in is that you can get both local Fox as well as local NBC channels with the blue plan. I will go over the local channels with Sling TV in a little more detail later on in the video. With the blue plan, you also get a cloud DVR with 50 hours of storage and you can stream from three devices at a time. Personally, this is the plan that I use and I think it is preferable to the orange plan. But really that just depends on what you're looking for and what you watch. And finally, they have what they call the orange and blue plan that is $50 a month. You of course get the free channels and then you get every channel that you would have from either the orange plan or the blue plan. You also get 50 hours of cloud DVR storage 
and the number of streams you watch depends on whether you are watching an orange channel or a blue channel, so it is between one and three streams. Again, that is one of the parts that's a little bit confusing. Now, like a lot of live TV streaming services, they do offer add-ons. And there are certain channels that are only available through add-ons, like the Hallmark Channel. Now, the channels that are included with some of these add-ons do depend on whether you have the orange plan, the blue plan, or the orange and blue plan. Otherwise, you can also add on different streaming services like Showtime or Discovery Plus together with your Sling TV subscription. This is a good way to consolidate your streaming services in one app so you don't have to switch back and forth between different apps. So let's get into the channels that are not available on any of the plans or extras with Sling TV and there are a handful of them to take note of. These channels include Animal Planet, CBS Sports Network, Cinemax, C-SPAN, HBO, Nickelodeon, OWN, PBS, Smithsonian Channel, and The Weather Channel. Sling TV also has a pretty limited lineup of regional sports networks, or RSNs. And finally, one last thing that Sling TV offers is the ability to either rent or purchase movies through the Sling TV app. So let's talk about local channels. Now, as I said before, with the Sling Blue plan or the Sling Blue and Orange plan, you can get either NBC or Fox, depending on the city you live in. So I'll go ahead and display the different cities on the screen here for NBC, and now I'll display the cities that are available for Fox channels. Now, since I'm in the Kansas City area, I'm not able to get Fox or NBC with the blue plan. Now, of course, you're aware that you can get your local channels with an antenna. And one thing that Sling TV has is they produce their own DVR box that you can purchase called the Air TV. If you hook up an antenna to the Air TV, such as the Air TV 2 or Air TV Anywhere, you can then stream all of the local channels through the Sling app on any device that you have your Sling TV account set up with. I'll probably make a separate video where I go more in depth about the Air TV device and how I use that, but I have been using the Sling Blue plan, which is 35 bucks a month, together with an antenna that is attached to an Air TV 2. And now we're only paying 35 bucks a month and we get local channels, we get the cable channels, everything is incorporated in one app and we can record whatever we want, which is great. So let's get into the Sling TV app and some of the features that they offer. The video quality can stream in up to 1080p depending on the channel and your device. However, there is no support for 4K. I will say most devices tend to cap out at 720p. Sound is in stereo, however there is 5.1 support on some on-demand content. You can only have one profile per account. There aren't multiple profiles you can make for different members of your family, so that's kind of a downside. They also don't allow for offline downloads. However, I will say that the video streaming quality was very smooth. I have had virtually no technical issues as far as watching the shows that I wanted to watch. Now let's talk about the DVR. This part is pretty simple to use. Now they don't have the unlimited DVR like what you get with YouTube TV or Hulu Plus Live TV uh, because you do have that limited storage space that maxes out at 50 hours. But once you wanna record something, you just select it in the guide. You can select if you wanna record that individual episode or record future airings. And then you can keep those recordings indefinitely. So let's get to my final verdict. What do I think about Sling TV? Now, Sling TV is something where you are paying less money than you would with YouTube TV, Hulu Plus Live TV, Direct TV Stream, or Fubo TV that are all between $65 a month and 70 bucks a month. So for me, that is the biggest draw that you are getting a lot of those same channels, especially the sports channels for a lower price. However, if you're someone that really wants to have 4K, you really wanna have as many channels as possible, you wanna have unlimited recordings, this might not be the thing for you especially when you start to add on those extras, there really isn't much of a price difference between this and something like Hulu Plus Live TV. However, if you're like me and you've set up something where 
you've got an antenna set up, you've got the air TV set up, you've got your sling TV set up, you're paying 35 bucks a month, that actually is a pretty good deal. I do think for cord cutters, sling TV is a really great option, especially if you are planning on using the air TV and hooking up your local channels together with everything. It's nice to be able to access both your antenna channels as well as the live streaming channels all together in the same app. If you want to check out Sling TV or see what their latest offer is, because there usually is some kind of a deal for new customers, I will have a link down in the description. You can also go to shallistreamit.com forward slash Sling TV or scan the barcode that is on your screen right now. So what do you think? Have you tried out Sling TV? Let me know what your experiences were like in the comment section down below. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay up to date with all things streaming. I wanna thank you so much for watching today and I hope you all have a good one. Bye bye